And these words are saying, I will bite off the paws of evil and collect everything from the wreckage again. Everyday life will be changed if you act together with faith. I understand humanity fights back against winter. I believe in God and in hip hop. I see it with my own eyes. Volya Boja Navase. God's will for everything. Joe, any word on uh, the whereabouts of this uh, commander of the Russian Air Force? He has not been seen in public since all the chaos of the weekend, has he? Uh, well, no, but, you know, as always, Bob, and good afternoon from Lviv, as always, it is, you know, really, we can't trust any information that comes out of Russia. Uh, you know, we, we're told, for example, that Prigozhin, the, the guy that seemingly led the revolt or the rebellion or whatever it was, uh, is in Belarus. Um, and now they're blaming, you know, one, one theory is that maybe, uh, you know, this whole that whole circus, the pretend coup or whatever it was on Saturday, was an attempt to see if there were any disloyal people in the ranks. Uh, and, and so maybe maybe this is that uh, it's really hard to know. Uh, meanwhile, uh, and again, I mean, that's always the principle in this. Uh, it's very it's impossible to trust any information that comes out of Russia. Uh, and, and, and then we had uh, news yesterday that uh, if you remember that explosion, uh, the two missiles that hit the restaurant in Krematorsk mm -hmm. and uh, there was a, the, the Ukrainian Secret Services, the SBU, uh, reportedly found a pro-Russian sympathizer that called in the missiles. This is really awful to imagine. But the fact that there was someone standing there, seeing that the restaurant was full mm. uh, with, with, with children, with you know, volunteers, with civilians, and with soldiers. And, uh, you know, it's, I mean, just imagine the, the level of evil and hate you'd have to have to do that. And they have evidence that he texted uh, the uh, Russian FSB, Russian intelligence, uh, the information, and then he got out of there and those two missiles hit uh, minutes later. Uh, and so that is pretty chilling to know uh, that there still are spies, Russian spies, operating uh, here throughout Ukraine. You know, and that's one reason why, if we remember that uh, Ukraine finally, after a year of war, made moves to uh, to stop the Russian Orthodox Church, which is, you know, part basically part of the Kremlin. Uh, they have been able to operate here as spies. And even as you walk around the streets, I mean, I, I think in Lviv, you feel that people are, very, are vigilant. Uh, but you never know who's watching and who's calling the shots uh, for these missiles. And meanwhile, it's sort of a strange uh, situation we're in right now because uh, there, you know, from from May first until about two weeks ago, uh, so for a month and a half, there were attacks on Kiev and other major cities, but especially Kiev every other day. I mean, it was relentless. It became normal. Uh, you're so accustomed to hearing the sounds of drones and explosions. Uh, even here in Lviv, we were hit last week. And now it's been quiet. Uh, pretty much, I mean, Kiev was hit on Friday night, uh, but since the Russian circus, whatever happened there on Saturday, the skies over Ukraine, away from the front lines, uh, have been much quieter than they were. Uh, so it's it's hard, you know, what is happening? What is the maneuvering that's happening uh, behind the scenes? Uh, maybe this is an opportunity for Ukraine. I mean, with those attacks every other day, really depleted uh, Ukraine's air defense supply. And you know, that's something that we felt very viscerally here in Lviv because we heard, that, as I mentioned last week, the frantic machine gun firing to shoot down uh, the incoming drones. You know, and there's a lot of misinformation that Ukrainians have been in the state, in, in the United States. Uh, people have been saying that Ukrainians are using the expensive Patriot missiles uh, to shoot down cheap drones. And that's not true. I know that firsthand because I heard the drone approaching us and, uh, and, and the machine gun fire to stop it. And so Ukrainians have been have to be very careful uh, with their resources. and But now, fortunately, there's a bit of a pause. And so maybe this gives Ukraine some advantage. We still don't really know what happened last Saturday in, in Russia, though. No, maybe we'll never know. Uh, our listeners love uh, the way you personalize these war stories, Joseph. And I know you have a story about a song that was discovered on the phone of a fallen warrior. Uh, tell us a little about this, and then we'll play a bit of it. Well, you know, I just saw today 78% of Ukrainians have relatives or friends uh, who've died or been wounded in the war. And uh, there was a soldier uh, who I mentioned yesterday, Yura or Yuri, which means George, after the Dragon Slayer, uh, Yura Samanuk. And uh, he uh, was very popular. He, 
he was a real Kozak. Uh, he did the traditional Kozak dancing, and there were people who have been uh, circulating tributes uh, to him uh, playing the flute uh, in the ar army barracks and you know scenes of the good life before war. And yesterday on the main square, the Maidan of Kiev, uh, hundreds of people gathered. They were singing. They were kneeling in his honor. But when he when 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 they took his body from the battlefield, they found his phone in his pocket. And this song that we're going to hear was halfway through on pause. And so after we play, as we play it, I will I will translate a bit. And you can really it's really difficult, but you can feel. Uh, the last words and the emotions uh, of, a, of, a, of a Ukrainian soldier, you know, in that trench. And the song is by a Ukrainian hip hop band called, or a hip hop artist called Archangel. And the song is called Viru, I Believe. These words are saying, I will bite off the paws of evil and collect everything from the wreckage again. Everyday life will be changed if you act together with faith. I understand humanity fights back against winter. I believe in God and in hip hop. I see it with my own eyes. Those who are close to me, I teach them to take care of themselves. I feel, I hear well, and we fight each other side by side uh, in ourselves and life because it is the key to everything. And then, uh, I mean, these words were written uh, in the war time, and it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, you really feel, uh, just, I mean, just imagine you're you know, in that trench, isolated, preparing for battle, and this is what you're listening to, to, to give yourself, uh, to give yourself energy, and he's, uh, the, the words continue, I believe in what I'm sending, it will save me later, I believe that I can, because fear shakes me, I believe in those I love, and thank them for everything. I believe in those who are next to me and continue to carry me here. God's will for everything. And uh, in Ukrainian, uh, that last line is uh, uh, Boja. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, I don't want to screw it up. The, mm. oh, my Ukrainian can be improved. That's all right. Uh, the, uh, the, the word for will in Ukrainian is the same as the word for freedom, volia. And so when they say God's will for everything, it also means God's freedom for everything. And so this idea of freedom and will or to be is so deeply embedded in the Ukrainian idea. That's what they're fighting for. And so this song called Archangel, uh, you know, in St. Michael the Archangel, such a here, you know, an icon for Ukrainians, uh, the, the fighter uh, against, you know, good versus evil. And this song that ends in those words, God's will for free, um, God's will for everything, God's freedom for everything. Uh, and this this was the last uh, song that the warrior Yuri was listening to uh, before he was killed by the Russians. Uh, like so many people who are losing their lives, standing for that idea of freedom and for will, and and just for the right to to exist. Unbelievable. And uh, we heard was that the Ukrainian musician uh, at the beginning of that clip? You heard somebody clearing their throat. Was that was that the the musician? Who did the uh, song? Is, yes, you can see because it's difficult to. I mean, you know, you can even tell, and that's why even reading those words now, I could feel the deep emotion of it. And so he wanted that in the track, he clearing his throat hmm. because the musician himself uh, was, you know, it was difficult for him to say these things. And and I'll just repeat that last line uh, in Ukrainian: "Volya Boja Navase, God's will for everything." And that's that's what they're fighting. You know, that, that that's the hope here. As people keep struggling, uh, but they're not giving up. They keep going every single day and we're with you we hope for the best we'll connect with you tomorrow thank you very much Joseph. thank you Bob thank you for introducing Ukraine on your social media pages that's very important that much more people can get more information about the situation here and how everybody can help Ukraine to stay stronger and to save all the world <laughs> На чьей стороне? Come on now, which side are you on? На чьей стороне?